Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. I received a couple of boxes in the mail today when I got home and I was very happily surprised. Um, one of them, this one that I'm going to show you the goodies from, is from my very good friend, um, Elizabeth Coyasso. She is very precious and special to me. And I want to share with you all the goodies that she sent me. Um, we decided to wait until after the Christmas rush to send each other a uh, Christmas gift because both of our birthdays are within two days of each other. I'm on the 12th and she's on the 13th. So that is the reason why um, I'm opening my Christmas and birthday gift today. A little bit early for my birthday, but... Um, but I love it. What you're looking at in front of you is one of the very many things that she made for me, and I love it. I'll bring it close up a little bit. It spells out my name, and it says believe. She's always in, she's always there to inspire me and believe in me, and that's something that um, she says, you know, on this one right here, believe in yourself, happy birthday. And this little angel thing um, is us, because she has lighter color hair than I. So that's Ellie and Lisa, um, BFFs. And I thought that was so sweet, because um, sometimes I have a trouble in believing in myself. So I will put that in my craft room and stare at it and remind myself of it. Um, so that's one of the many goodies she made, like I said. This beautiful box, uh, post, post off mailbox. I couldn't think of the name of it. And it's just beautiful. It's on a spool stand. And there's a little stamp. And she decorated it with one of our favorite paper because we both like the romance novel from Prima, which is very, very hard to find. So we both have a little stash, um, that we make each other projects for. And I thought, um, that was very sweet of her to use her little stash on my project. So that's the mailbox. It's so gorgeous. And it even opens up. She had included a bunch of goodies in there for me. Um, one of this was the Rub and Buff. I've never tried this Rub and Buff before. I've heard about it many times. It's the gold leaf color, so I can't wait. Look how she decorated all the inside too with I don't know how she got her hands in there. <laughs> wow, that was great. So we'll put that little not little, but that we'll put that mailbox there. Oh my gosh, there's so much to share. I'm gonna try to make this fast. She sent me this balsa box, which is so cute. Oh, that was upside down. I have never seen one this size before. I know Hobby Lobby cares the big ones. And she said she made a camera out of hers. I have a balsa box, but I haven't quite decorated it yet. I'm kind of just letting it hang out to figure out what to do. And then she gave me this beautiful card sending you a happy birthday. And so it has some writing inside, which I already got emotional opening all of this on Skype with her, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to get emotional again, I promised myself. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, huh? Um, let's see. She made me some molds. I love these molds. One of them is a Charlotte doll, which she had, and I really liked it. So these are made from that. I got her into these uh, from that amazing... Sorry for all the noise. Amazing putty. I think um, Elizabeth BD Bomb Bomb did a tutorial on how to make these. I can't wait to try these. This is a gear. I told her it looked like a sombrero, but she's promised me it's a gear. No, I'm sorry. I, she's made one on, on Skype with me, so I know what it looks like. It is gorgeous. And then she made me, she gave me my own mailbox. Not only the one back there that she decorated, she gave me one to play with. And inside is all these dominoes. I love dominoes. I like these little teeny mini ones. So, I got mail. That was really cute. And then all these little bags of goodies. That's so overwhelming. 
when I get boxes like this because it's just so precious to me. I like to share my goodies with others and I'm always very touched when others share their goodies with me. Look at that. It's a whole bag of beads. She says I need to make more stick pins, which she's right. And Scrabble pieces. To the life of me, I cannot find Scrabble at the thrift store. That's one thing I can't find. I can find dominoes and other things, but... So she knew that I wanted these dominoes. And let's see. There's a big pile right here. I'm trying to get through it all. She sent me this bead thing so I can keep track of all my beads and the measurements. And you know when you're working with beads, they slip and slide. So this is a bead palette. So I'm definitely going to use that. Let's see. I wanted a mussy tussy cone. I was having a, tr have, having a hard time finding one. So she sent me one of her. She said she only had two and she sent me one of them. So that was very sweet. And this is very sturdy. Look, I'm like squeezing it and you can't even bend it. So it's very sturdy. And then she found these at the um, at a store near her. I haven't seen these before. The clock clock keys and there's also one under my camera which I'll show you at the very end the faucet knobs which are beautiful but they're kind of holding up my camera right now so I'm not going to show it to you these leaves that smell really really good look I'll smell it mmm so a whole bag of these that's such a pretty lime color too it's not obnoxious and then a new ink central inking stamp which I have one but it was kind of beat up with extra cushions that's what I call them I know there's probably a different name for it and then she did a whole bunch of cutouts for me of I think I left the bag in the other room but it's a bunch of cutouts of these gears which I love I love these gears. I think these are the Tim Holtz ones she did. Um, I'm going to go grab. I think there's one bag missing. So hold on one second. I would sing for you, but I don't sound that great. Yeah, I think I took it in my, I think I took it in my craft room already and it's kind of a mess there. So I'll have to post pictures of that later. Let me see. Yeah, it's not here. Um, the other thing that she sent, which I know I have to glue together, so Ellie, don't yell at me when I'm showing it without the glue. Let's see, i got to make sure that I'm putting this right. Okay, here we go. This is so beautiful. You guys are going to flip it what she did. Okay. I know I should have glued this, glued this together. Okay, look at this. You can't even see it. Because it's so big. It's like a... Like a bustier. Here, I'll put it back here. See it? And then she made these wings to go on top of it. It's so beautiful. So once I hang it, I'll take pictures and post them. I know it's really hard to tell them to tell what they look like. I'm sorry. I think what I'll do is lay it lay it down, and when I show you the faucet knobs, I wish I had that other thing. Oh, one last thing before I show you. Look at this hammer. Isn't this cute? It's a polka dot hammer. I don't know where she found this from. But not only is it a hammer, but you unscrew it, and it's a screwdriver. That is so cute. When I'm hammering stuff on my projects, that'll be good to use. Okay, so I'm going to lift up the camera so I could show you these knobs. These Tim Holtz faucet knobs. I love them. I think I'll be hoarding these, Ellie. And then let me show you. I'm going to lift up the camera. So I could show you what this beautiful piece looks like. 
Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. I'm going to hang it up on my craft wall. My little bustier. It's very sexy. And she said you can use this as a necklace or you can put it on that side to hang it up. But anyway, thank you for sharing. I'm going to put the camera back down so you don't get dizzy. Thank you for watching this video with me. Thank you, Ellie, very much. I'll put a link to her channel. Please do check out her goodies. Oh, how can I forget this? It's a, my own little bubblegum machine. She said it was for me to alter, so I have to definitely work on that. But back to my message. Thank you, Ellie, for all your generous gifts. I really appreciate them all. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'll link to her channel so you can go and look at her creations. She's a wonderful friend and a wonderful artist. And I'm blessed to have her in my life. Thank you.